I'm a Computer Science and Electronics graduate of the University of Edinburgh, uh, and I'm now CTO for a startup de developing sports wearables uh, based here in Edinburgh. I graduated in Computer Science and Electronics. I'm one of the founders of a sports technology company based in Edinburgh. I studied at Edinburgh University here in the School of Informatics. I did artificial intelligence and computer science. And then I came back to do a master's, currently a freelance data analytics specialist. I did the BSc Computer Science here at Edinburgh University and I am currently doing the MSc in Machine Learning at Imperial. I did a master's in artificial intelligence and back then I focused on machine learning and robotics. I'm a PhD student here at the University of Edinburgh in the School of Informatics. I'm studying machine learning and in more specific terms explainable machine learning, so explainable AI, trying to actually explain outputs of neural networks or other not understandable things to uh, the general public. The system design project was a chance to apply a fly theory again to his, his sort of experience working as a, as a development team and really build something that's more complex and allows for developing uh, software engineering practices. It, it was a really exciting project. Um, it was a lot of work, but I feel that it really sort of gave us the opportunity to collaborate quite a lot and you know, there was a lot of, lot of motivation uh, from working together. It was a very strong love-hate relationship experience. Uh, at the time, I did not enjoy it, but the minute it was over, I did. Uh, partly because I was very, very proud of my end product and I was able to win awards for it and I've been able to talk about it and use it in job interviews since then, which has been really, really cool. My experience over here is Appleton Tower was under construction. Um, and so we were in Forest Hill, which was a nice converted bunker with a bunch of computers and kind of what was there is what you got. So sometimes you'd walk into the drill hall and there were no free computers. And so you kind of would have to scramble and come up with plan B and go to the library or kind of relocate. I mean, we've seen a lot of development uh, throughout the university uh, over the last couple of years. Um, I've been I'm through fairly regularly. I still do some work with the with the student union, um, and every time I go through, uh, there's a huge amount of change going on. We had the chance of weekly meetings. I got to actually make sure that my classmates' voices were heard and, and be able to follow up on the types of things that that they were wanting to see. They became a lot better at taking student opinions and student feedback into account uh, when they increased the role of reps and the amount of representation. They've also added a lot of student-run roles around, so it's not just Comsoc, but you have things like InfPals, which is now completely student-run, as well as things like most tutors are now undergraduate students instead of postgrad students. Uh, and lots of other ways in which they're kind of ensuring that we get to be part of our own educational experience and I think that's really unique but it's also made me enjoy my time here a lot more than at the start when I felt like I was just a part of this rather than actually having an active role. And when I came here, there's obviously this massive campus all around me and all these opportunities as well. Suddenly you have companies knocking on the door like Google or Facebook and they're just here to like casually give a talk about things. And then just also like the students here as well, it just overwhelmed me how many backgrounds there are of so many different students. And it's just really cool to see them all come together and we're all kind of united by this one passion of kind of wanting to learn more about AI and so on and so forth. I remember a lot of computer labs. Personally, myself, I was never very good at programming, so you know, it took me a long time to get to grips with that and, and when I actually got something working or you know, managed to get a good score on an assignment, that was, that was really cool. Um, and it was nice to be able to you know, share that with classmates as well. I often went to Appleton Tower to sort of work on projects in the you know, late hours uh, of the day to reach those deadlines. I really enjoyed my time as a rep, mainly because I could visibly see the impact that I was able to have. Um, I got to design and uh, get grad hoodies out to everyone in the graduating class, which was really fun because everyone was actually wearing them. A group of us built out a, a system that um, plays music across all the student union venues 
uh, and that's that's still being used today and uh, we still sort of um, yeah still in touch and I still can't shake it.